these are things that you really need to discuss this with your patient and patient needs to ask the doctor. Absolutely. Uh, we have a very aggressive, uh, what we call multimodal pain control pathway in where we give our patients local anesthesia before they wake up uh, with focused blocks to their ribs to prevent immediate uh, pain when they wake up. We give them anti-nausea medications. We cover uh, most of the implant-based uh, operations with antibiotics. And so we also use a lot of ibuprofen and Motrin postoperatively. Our goal, and, and as everyone is aware with the opioid crisis, is to really limit postoperative narcotics. And the side effects that you see there that are not anesthesia related are also largely narcotic pain medicine related. So nausea comes with narcotic pain medicines, constipation, mm -hmm. drowsiness, poor mobility after surgery. So we really want our patients up. We want them active. We don't want them doing strenuous activities, but we want them mobile and pain free without a lot of side effects. And so we use different a series of different medications that are not narcotics to help them with immediate pain control. Uh, many of our patients are not taking any narcotic pain medicines by f a few days to the first week after surgery. And then a lot of it then becomes physical uh, limitations where we don't want a lot of strenuous movement with the arms. We want to protect the reconstruction and then limitations in exposure to water and things like that. By about a month, our, our patients by and large are back to where they were preoperatively.